or the serious gamer. Hey, it's Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. This is our general map walkthrough series, and this is for Afghan. All right, well, we're gonna start back here, and this is the uh, poppy fields, or the, I would say, the opium production, because obviously, who the heck's growing poppies in the middle of the desert unless you're doing it for drugs, even though it's a super small patch. Maybe it's just a personal stash. I don't know. Anyway, this area here is actually two sniper locations and a lot of people defend the area. If you're running in from this side here, just be aware that usually there will be someone back on either side of this little shanty shaft uh, cabin or whatever it is on the, uh, the back there. Now, this is the first sniper location. Obviously, it's well protected. You are susceptible to being flanked from this area here. Unless your team is located in this area, someone's watching that, you know, just generally you can see them in there. Just be aware, either Claymore facing out, just so that you know someone's coming, you can turn around. Claymore here is too, it may kill, but you will die. The time they get in there, they'll see you, they'll kill you. So put it out here so that they have to shoot it. It gives you time to turn around. Anyway, so from this sniper point here, you can catch people coming from that area, any snipers in that area, the cave. Again, watch for thermals, unless you have a thermal on yourself. Very hard to see from this area here, but you can nail them. And then also you get the shots from the snipers staying at the top there. You can't really nail too many people coming down through here because generally they're gonna run through the back. So we're gonna move to the back, like I said before. People like to hide back here. They stay on this side, na nabbing people there, or they can even stay on this side, nailing people. So look for people when you're on the opposite side. This place will get you kills, and also allows you to protect that cave. So watch that cave. If someone runs by here, typically when they're running by here, you'll get nailed uh, as a camper, who cares, whatever. Kill and move though, don't stay there, because that'd be stupid. This is another sniper area. Again, susceptible from the back, but this sniper area offers you shots from any snipers being prone up there and also offers you the sniper that's located here and a little bit of the center area here where you're kind of limited very dangerous because this area here is prone and you have people coming in here and you only have one claymore so you can't be fully protected unless you have teammates in there now i'm going to show you the ac-130 since we're here it's in three sections forward section this area right here is where one of the bombs is in search and destroy and demolition some people will stay up here. This is a dangerous area. Yeah, you can protect yourself and kill anyone coming from here, but you're highly susceptible from people coming in straight in or throwing a grenade, and there's nowhere for you to go. The second area here is just a hollow opening. However, if you're coming to defuse a bomb or if you're trying to access people on the other side, the cave and the sniper area, as you're doing a transition, it's dangerous to run through the middle on any map but if you have to do it, run through here because you're protected from both sides. And then you can also, if it's search and destroy and there's someone hiding in there, that's why I said don't hide in there, it's dangerous. The back section here is sealed. You can't really go anywhere, it's dangerous. You can get a couple of kills by camping in there, but you're gonna wanna move right away. Now the other area, which I'm doing, trying to do right now anyway, is uh, the AC-130 in the mid section. You can climb up onto the wing sections. And you can jump up onto those pipes there or jump onto the ledge there. Again, unless you're in search, I would recommend you get one or two kills and move. Someone's going to nail you. I mean, you can push it to see how long you can last, but it's not generally a good idea. Now we're heading to the back area here, the west side. Two areas that are split, this back area here, and then the other back area or the other access area here. It's kind of a fork in the road. Now when you're coming through here, like I said before, because people hide back there, just be aware of that. If you're coming up here, make sure you have an assault. If you have an SMG, don't bother trying it, it's dangerous. If you have an assault or a sniper rifle, quickly try and get a shot off on people back in there before you actually come in through there. People will also camp right on the sides here, either prone or tucked away that corner there. So just be aware of that as well. Those radioactive symbols mark the boundary. If you go beyond those symbols, I'm not going to do it, but you'll end up dying. If you stay there too long, you'll just get hurt. No point in me showing you. Just don't go there. You'll die. So uh, we're going to go up to the point here uh, in the west side, this far west side. Those are explosive canisters. Use them to your advantage. If you're coming up the bottom here and you see someone actually located there, nail it that way and you'll actually be able to get a kill. Snipers and assault rifle people with uh, scopes, thermals, or whatever, this is a good location to get a couple of kills. You got access points to the uh, sniper area there and the sniper area on the other side. 
a bit of the uh, back area there where people like to camp and a center area if any people are running through there. Again, that's a bit dangerous, so don't always assume that it's uh, safe to go through there. Another explosive barrel. This area here is actually pretty good, I find, for putting your uh, airborne, your airdrops and that sort of thing there. If you put it right here, the reason being is the enemy will see where it's dropped. So tuck yourself back here, nail anyone, stay out of sight. If it lands, who cares? If there's enemy players there, don't jump up. Let them get in comfortable because it takes them a lot longer to actually get the actual drop than it does you. It takes you a couple of seconds. Kill them, come in, and then get the air drop. But don't stay right where it is because they're likely going to be following. Now here's another area here when you're coming up. Not a lot of people use the stairs, even though that is the obvious way to come in through here. So keep that in mind. Most people will jump from this area here, either there or here, from the stairs. It's a lot faster, that's why they do it. At the same time, because of that, this is sometimes a smart route to take. Everyone, not everyone, most people take this area here. So don't discount this. It's hard to see people coming up from there. And if most people, if say I'm a person that always takes that area, I'm more inclined to look that area and keep moving this way rather than look down there. So if you're actually coming up from the, the bottom here and then you nail someone coming through there. So keep that in mind and also don't discount it. It's there, people will use it. Just most people use this area here. When you're coming up to this area, the other bomb for search and destroy and demolition is located just over that ridge. People will defend it from this area here. So when you're coming up in here, make sure that you're looking over there if you have an assault. If you have an SMG, you're going to be running and gunning anyway. Try and make it through there. Do what you have to. But be aware that there could be someone there, could be someone there trying to nail you. And then, of course, the dangerous caves. This, I do not recommend the side entrance unless you are absolutely clear that it's uh, open and everything like that and there's no one in here. You can have a claymore here which is hard to see. You come through, boom. Dudes like to hide back here. Someone's coming through. They have a huge advantage of you coming through. They'll just nail you. Okay, so be aware of that this is a dangerous area to come through. But sometimes you have no choice. If you got smoke, fine, throw it. You got flashbangs, stun, whatever. Throw on, on this side in case someone is actually located here or in the back there and then try and get one looped around here so when you're actually coming in you know throw one in there oh well okay mess that up anyway you know what i mean you want to try and chuck one in there that was a bit of a a fail but um come to the back area here remember there are going to be people here lots of dudes like to hide up in this area here so be aware of that okay People will hide up on this area. If you try and coming up through the stairs, look for that as well. Look for people when you're coming out here. They could be located right there. Another, as I said before, they might be located in the back there. They have a lot of cover, and if someone's sitting prone or someone's sitting right there waiting for you, you're dead. Sometimes they'll even wait down here. Sometimes they'll be like this. If you're coming out of the cave, they'll just pop up and nail you. Now, this is where the other search and destroy place is. Like I said before, the people that... This is how you would access it anyway. So there's that area down there, which is kind of useless. Why would you do that? But this is how you're going to actually watch those people. And like I said before, they have an excellent view of anyone running through there. Very dangerous for you to be actually coming through there and uh, trying to, to snag people. There's all sorts of places, like I said. They could be up here, pop up, and nail you. So just be aware of that. Another area that people like to hang out in is right up on these rock ledges. So if you're coming in the back area here, they'll try and nail you from up here. Again, it does provide them with great cover. And unless you're looking for them, you're dead. But be aware if you're the one killing, like in deathmatch or something, be aware that someone could be in the back caves here trying to nail you. And this is our final area here where we sort of mix in there. You can snag people if you hide in here. But again, one kill, move. Don't stay there. It's very dangerous. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. For more strategies and tactics on Modern Warfare 2, visit nextgentactics.com.